Well, take a look at this beautiful piece of junk I found. It's an old half horsepower motor. You can see it says on the side here, horsepower one half, volts 115. Wow, I thought this was a 240. It's almost a 10 amp. It's, um, well, it even gives you the microfarad rating. Uh, there is a, uh, what else is there? RPM is around 1725, which is a four pole motor. As you can clearly see, it has four copper poles and four brass poles. Well, it's, I found it beside the road. It was a hunk of junk. It's actually aluminum wiring, aluminum tube wiring with copper and uh, gold plating on it. I could get some pretty good metal out of this. So, once I get a home foundry kit built or purchased, I'll go ahead and start smelting this stuff. There's a lot of metal in here. It's just so interesting to find one of these beside the road in front of a shopping center, too. I was just heading home from work and I saw this. Manufacturing date? 512A9. If someone could uh, decode that and tell me what it means, I'd be glad to know because this uh, looks pretty cool. It is full of a lot of dirt and it did have a warning saying something about fan blades, so I'm guessing this is a fan motor. Well, it was. Until someone tore it up. I don't know why they had to go and cut the windings halfway through like that. I don't know if it had to do with how they got it out. Smells kind of like a hot diesel engine, so it must have really burned out good. Can't seem to find the burn spots, though, although there is a hole down here where one of the windings is missing. Same on this side here, that it was just cut out, so... Pretty good amount of metal here. The steel plates could be worth something, too. As well as the, uh, the lacquered insulation tubes inside the winding chambers here. The uh, black wire that came with this came off so it's a dual winding motor. You can see here's our common. It has a thermal overload on it. Thermo-disc. I'm guessing this thing is pretty old. Sure beat it up, taking it out, whoever did it. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And the windings on this side are almost perfectly intact, aside from a couple of breaks. So this is pretty cool. thought I'd just show it to you guys. And uh, hopefully this will show up as the thumbnail.